Now that I have your attention, I just signed, hi, my name's Hannah, and I'm here today to explain why it's important for you all to learn sign language. American Sign Language is also known as ASL, and I have taken two ASL classes here at CGCC with a fantastic professor, Mark Jett, who is deaf, so the class is challenging, but I feel like that is the best way to learn sign language. I also have taught my students sign language because they are all non-verbal, and I think that you all should learn American Sign Language. In my speech, I will show you that there are solid reasons, benefits to knowing the language, and I will give you a plan. Here are some reasons why you should learn basic ASL. Learning ASL would give any parent, or anyone for that matter, the ability to communicate with an infant from three months until they learn how to speak. Teresa McEvoy, a continuing education specialist from Boys Town National Research Hospital states, the benefits of teaching sign language to your baby will promote language development, and we see that children can usually communicate manually before they can communicate orally. An example I can give of that is teaching babies emotions in sign language, as in hungry, thirsty, mad, or happy, so they can communicate with you rather than screaming and crying all the time. I want to show a short clip of a baby sign to show you proof that they actually can. No! <laughs> it's done. Dog. Dog. Oh. That's right. Show me ball. Ball, that's right. Ball, ball. <laughs> sign shoes. Yay, shoes, that's right. Shoes, there you go. Okay. Dada. Dada. Dada, that's right. <laughs> the next reason why I think that you should all learn sign language is because it will greatly enhance your resume. An article titled, Eight Reasons You Benefit From Knowing Sign Language, written on August 13, 2013 says, Today's job market is very competitive. ASL is a very bankable skill for your resume, and it increases your marketability as an employee. This can go for all languages, as in deaf people, they grow up accommodating to the hearing world, so this is your chance to accommodate to their world by knowing sign language. An example I can give is if a deaf person comes into your workplace and they start signing, your coworkers might look confused or stressed, so you can go over there and interpret for them and help them. People who are deaf are often apprehensive to go in public because, generally speaking, there's no one around that knows sign language, and if you can jump in and help and interpret for them, your skills would be greatly recognized in your workplace or out in public. The next reason that you all should learn sign language is because it will prepare you for the future. This can go hand in hand with my first point about teaching your infants sign language, but if you or someone you love becomes deaf in the future, you, if you know ASL now, you will know it for yourself in the future and you will be able to teach others around you sign language. The summary health statistics in US adults written by D.L. Blackwell at the Center for Disease Control states, Approximately 15% of American adults, 37.5 million, aged 18 and over, report some trouble hearing. So this is not to scare you or anything, but you or someone you love can become deaf or hard of hearing someday. And it's not a scary thing to become deaf if you know sign language now, because you'll know it for your future, and you will be able to teach others around you. So after hearing a few solid reasons that you should learn sign language, you will feel more proud of yourself. If you learn simple ASL now, you will be prideful that you are able to do something that most other people are not able to do. And knowing that you could be the one to help someone out in public or in your workplace, you would feel proud of yourself and better about yourself that you were able to help somebody. This will also help you become a better listener. Learning sign language will literally make you open your eyes because you have to listen with your eyes in order to understand the language. And, the author on Deaf Friendly, an anonymous author on the website Deaf Friendly writes that relying on a different sense to communicate exercises your peripheral vision and trains you to become more aware of your environment. This quote really resonates with me because after I learned simple sign language and was able to teach my students, I have for sure become more aware of my environment, especially in the classroom. After becoming a better listener with more pride, I will explain to you how you can go about learning simple sign language. If you want to just learn basic signs, you can go on the web any website. No, you can go on the internet and find websites that teach you.
Simple Science, my favorite, is Handspeak because it shows you the video of the person signing, so you can just copy them out of the bat, rather than other sites that show three different pictures showing the motion of them doing it. So Handspeak is my favorite, and this video is a screenshot, but it's saying speech. If you want to go more in depth and learn more than just basic sign language, you can sign up for SLG 101 with Mark Jett because he is the best. But this shows you that all these classes are full this fall, but that shows you something because people really do want to learn the language, so why not you? So I suggest that you sign up for spring. With Mark Jett, I know he's teaching it for a fact. So after knowing the reasons and benefits why you should learn sign language, and I have now given you a plan, I think that you should be more open-minded to learning American Sign Language. What was this class about anyway? <laughs> you should learn the language in order to communicate and help more people. What was this class about anyway? Communication. I think that you all should be more open-minded to learning American Sign Language. You will feel more proud of yourself and become a better listener, and I've already given you two different ways to learn language. So today, I wear this shirt that says smile and ASL to represent my passion for the language and my students who are nonverbal. So today I want to thank you very much.